The city of Hot Springs is famous for its thermal springs, historic baths, and surplus of outdoor recreational opportunities. For a day trip, a weekend getaway, or a week-long vacation, you can't beat this old town. Join Vucation as we take you on a journey of best things to do in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hot Springs National Park the 5,500-acre Hot Springs National Park, which shares its name with the neighboring city, is the most popular tourist destination in Hot Springs. Park's thermal springs are its main feature, and historic buildings along Bathhouse Row, including the Buckstaff Bathhouse and the Fortis Bathhouse Visitor Center, are still open for business. Moreover, the park is laced with several pathways for your enjoyment. The West Mountain Trails, Hot Spring Trails, and North Mountain Trails form the backbone of the trail network. All locations have small trails that link to one another, while while the 10-mile-long Sunset Trail offers a more strenuous excursion for more experienced hikers. We recommend you hike the 2.6-mile Sugarloaf Mountain section of the Sunset Trail, which includes a 0.3-mile side trail to the Balanced Rock, as it offers some of the most breathtaking vistas in all of Arkansas. You can also enjoy a tour of Grand Promenade and Bathhouse Row in the park, which are located in the heart of the city. Explore the Mid-America Science Museum. The exhibitions at the Mid-America Science Museum cover a wide range of topics, so you'll learn something new. Visitors can take in the impressive Tesla coil and learn about geology in the museum's underground cave maze. While there are plenty of things to do within the museum, guests shouldn't forget to spend some time outside as well. The museum's grounds feature a large skywalk and dinosaur statues spread out along a winding path in the woods. All members of your party, regardless of age, are sure to have a great time with the spectacular hands-on exhibits at the museum. Be sure to allow at least a few hours to get the most out of the venue. Oaklawn Racing Casino Resort. Just under two miles south of Hot Springs Historic District is where you'll find the Oaklawn Racing Casino Resort. This resort, which has hosted thoroughbred races from 1904, is a popular destination for those looking for an alternative to the area's natural sites. Even though construction on the new facilities began in May 2019, visitors can still test their luck at the venue. When you're not switching back and forth between the racetrack and casino floor, you can have food at the Silks Bar and Grill or listen to some live music. You can also enter the casino to play the slots and table games while waiting for a race to start. Don't miss the track's famous corned beef sandwich at lunchtime. Regular parking is free on non-race days, but it'll cost you two bucks on race days. Magic Springs Theme and Water Park Magic Springs Theme and Water Park is the ideal place to cool down during the hot Arkansas summer. The park has rides for people of all ages, so it's a family-friendly destination. You'll have a great time at the park because of the lack of crowds, the pristine condition of the facilities, and the thrilling attractions available outside the water park. Water slides, a meandering river, and a crashing wave pool are the main draws. The park is open every day in June and July, and on weekends in April, May, August, and October. But these times are subject to change, so be sure to check online before you go. From November through March, the facility is out of commission. Ticket prices start at $59.99 at the front gate, but there are a number of discounts available if you buy them in advance from the website. Fordyce Bathhouse Visitor Center Guests to Hot Springs National Park can stop by the Fordyce Bathhouse, the park's official visitor center. From its opening in 1915 until its closure in 62, the bathhouse offered its clients everything from massages to electrotherapy. After years of disuse, the facility was converted into a park visitor center in 1989. Visitors can now marvel at the historic structure's elaborate design, which includes stained glass domes, ceramic fountains, and delicately tiled flooring. You'll love having access to the entire three-story structure, including its basement. A bowling alley and a grand piano are just two of the hidden wonders waiting to be found. The Fordyce Bathhouse Visitor Center offers a self-guided tour so you can experience it at your own pace. Those interested in learning more can book a guided tour, but you should call ahead to make sure there's room. The daily operation is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., with the exception of the top two floors, which close at 4.45. A small fee is required to enter the Visitor Center. Lake Wachita State Park Hot Springs National Park gets the most attention, but you shouldn't miss out on the Lake Wachita State Park as well. There are 93 campsites, 8 regular cabins, and 4 camper cabins available for overnight stays in the park, so nature lovers can enjoy the outdoors without having to leave town. If you just have a limited amount of time to spend there, you'll have to pick between the park's land and water activities. The park's two beaches provide access to the water, and a marina is there for those who want to hire boats. Visitors can also take a dip in the Three Sisters Springs, which are said to 
to have curative properties on par with those of Hot Springs National Park. Two pathways ranging from a half a mile to four miles are available to park goers who would rather not venture out to the water at Lake Wachita State Park. The marina and visitor center are open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Visiting doesn't cost anything, but there might be fees associated with certain tours and special events. Hot Springs Mountain Tower Hot Springs Mountain Tower, which rises an impressive 1,256 feet into the air, offers unparalleled panoramas of the surrounding area. Travelers who reach the observation deck at the tower's top will get a clear view of the Diamond Lakes, Hot Springs Mountain, and the rest of the Wachita Range. The view extends for almost 140 miles in every direction. The scenic, winding road that leads to the tower is definitely worth the trip. Visit the basement's surprisingly large gift shop and cafe as soon as you arrive. Here, guests can purchase souvenirs or refreshments to enjoy while taking in the sights. After browsing the souvenirs in the shop, take the glass elevator up the 216 vertical feet to the lookout platform. At 9 in the morning every day, the Hot Springs Mountain Tower opens its doors to guests. Monthly closure times are rotated, however the observation deck and gift store both close 30 minutes before the tower does. Visit the Gangster Museum of America The Gangster Museum of America is a historically accurate and amusing look at how some of the most notorious gangsters in America coexisted with the kind residents of this small valley community in the hills of central Arkansas. Visit the museum to transport yourself to the 1920s, 30s, and 40s when Hot Springs attracted tourists from all over the world with its spring water, bootlegging, gambling, and other extreme pleasures. The audiovisual presentation across the seven galleries justifies the admission price. Try your luck in the museum's antique casino and then head to the theater to hear an expert historian discuss the who's, what's, when's, and where's of some fascinating and enlightening historical events. Garvin Woodland Gardens there is an incredible variety of both natural and man-made features to enjoy at the Garvin Woodland Gardens. The garden's flowers are not its primary draw, though. The intricate latticework of wood and glass that can be found throughout the Anthony Chapel complex is one of the reasons it's so popular among architecture fans. Another popular photo op is the Joy Manning Scott Bridge of the Full Moon, which was inspired by the old stone bridges of western China. Meanwhile, nature lovers enjoy the bonsai garden and forest walk, which represent only a small portion of the expansive greenery that is the Garvin Woodland Gardens. In the dead of winter, the gardens put up a spectacular yearly Christmas light display that's not to be missed. If you can't visit in time for the holidays, spring is a great second choice when the garden's many flowers are in full bloom. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Hot Springs, Arkansas? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.